in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the Thirst plugin. So first we're going to install the plugin, then I'll show you how the plugin works, then we'll take a look at the configuration, and that'll be the end of the video. So first let's install the plugin. There'll be a link in the description that will bring you here. All you have to do is click download, then go to your server, click file manager, click plugins, and then just take the plugin that you downloaded and drop it into your plugins folder. Remember to reboot your server. Once you have logged back into your server, do slash pl. If the plugin shows up in green, then you have installed it correctly. Now, time to show you how the plugin works. Hey, look, someone joined the game. So, uh, when you install the plugin, there might be a scoreboard on the right side of your screen that will be telling you the percentage of your thirst, where you can change in the configuration to have it show up somewhere else, where I'm having it show up on the top of the screen. Now, over time, a player will get thirsty. Now, you see that over time my thirst went down now if i now if i go to the water you can see that my thirst goes back up and if it's raining your thirst bar won't go down but it won't go up either now let's take the look at the configuration go to your server go to file manager go to plugins and then go to thirst click on the config now here is where you can change the stuff in the plugin so the scoreboard showing up on the right side of your screen that's this it's probably true right now you can set it to false if you don't want a scoreboard what i'm using is this a bar api i just set that to true and i'll have it at the top of my screen you can also have it set as a boss bar and the message that you want to say like how it said thirst above the bar that's what you would put here now if you're using world guard and you don't want people to lose thirst in some areas you can set this to true now here is the interesting part so every 500 ticks players will lose thirst but it depends on what biome they're in so if they're in the normal biome they will lose one percent of their thirst then savannah two percent desert four percent and so on y you can guess these now i can change how many ticks this can be to like let's say if every 700 so every 700 ticks then they'll lose that amount of thirst now down here the thirst like let's say if the thirst meter gets to 35 percent so thirsty so we'll go down around here thirsty message you are starting to to feel very thirsty and are weakening. So this is the message that will play if the player gets you 35%. Same goes for parched and dehydration because there's different messages for those. Now here, this is an interesting part. So let's say a water bottle. If a player drinks a water bottle, they'll get 20% of their thirst back. If they eat mushroom stew, they'll get 10%. So you can add different items like let's say if they eat I don't know, a cookie for some reason. They can have all their thirst back. You can set it to that. And there you go. That's the configuration and done. See you guys later. Boy!